Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs Digger again. How are you all? Today's story is The Cave Baby. Have you read this one before? This is a new one on me and it, oh, it's a lovely story. This is The Cave Baby, written by Julia Donaldson, illustrated by Emily Gravitt. Are you sitting comfortably? You ready? Cave Baby's Lucky. He lives inside a cave with his mum, who's good at painting, and his dad, who's very brave. I'm a saber-toothed tiger, a hyena, and a hare, a grey woolly mammoth, and a great big brown bear. Cave baby's lonely. Nobody will play. Dad is busy being brave and mum says keep away. Everything is boring. Then suddenly it's not. For in the corner of the cave he finds a brush and a pot. Uh oh, look what he does. Spots on the hyena, stripes on the hair, stars on the tiger, squiggles on the bear, zigzags on the mammoth. <gasps> this is lots of fun. Uh oh, but mum and dad are furious and say, look what he's doing. Done. Cave mum fetches water. She mutters and she wipes. No more spots and squiggles. No more stars and stripes. Look at the poor hedgehog being used to clean. <gasps> Cave dad wags his finger. If you don't take care, a mammoth's going to throw you to the big brown bear. Baby's restless. He's feeling wide awake, and a long grey trunk comes sneaking in, all wiggly like a snake. Where are you taking me? Where? Tell me where. Are you going to throw me to the big brown bear? Look, stripes in the forest. A tiger's lurking there. Don't throw me to the tiger or the big brown bear. Crashing in the bushes. The hare is leaping there. Maybe he's escaping from the big brown bear. A crackle in the bracken. A hyena's laughing there. Has he heard a joke about the big brown bear? The cave in the hillside. Look. I wonder who lives there. I hope it's not. Don't let it be. The, br the big brown bear. Cave looks like it's shaped like a bear, doesn't it? The cave is bright with moonlight. The walls are plain and bare. Snoring in the shadows, someone's sleeping there. Cave babe is worried, he doesn't understand. Until the woolly mammoth pops a paintbrush in his hand. <gasps> a five-legged tiger, a long curly hair, horns on a hyena and a beard on a bear, a moustache on a mammoth. This is lots of fun. And then the mammoth wakes his family and says, oh, look what he's done. And they rollick and they frolic. They trumpet and they crash. 
they wade into the water, they roll and romp and splash. They shake the baby by the hand and they lift their trunks and wave. As the mammoth picks him up again, takes him to his cave. Cave baby's happy. He's fast asleep in bed. He dreams about a tiger with stripes of pink and red. A green grass hyena, a sky blue hair, a moon yellow mammoth and a small brown bear. Brilliant. That's a lovely ending, isn't it? Thanks for listening again, boys and girls. See you again soon.